As beautiful as our environment around us is, there are still questions that need to be asked. Is the air I'm breathing and the water I'm drinking truly safe? As it is in nature, it's just as important to ask questions about our workplace. How does the quality of my work environment affect my health? The health of my friends, family, community. Who can answer these questions? It is the job of professionals trained in the field of occupational and environmental health sciences. Occupational health is, is more narrow than environmental health because it really just represents the work setting as an environment. And that, of course, is a, is a subset of environmental science, which is far more global. In occupational health, we look at the interaction between the worker and the workplace. That's really our fundamental interest. And so we're interested in looking at risk factors in the work setting that may affect the health of workers, a place where people spend a large portion of their waking hours. And so, again, there are different kinds of risk factors that we can look at, whether they be physical, like noise exposure or heat exposure, or they might be chemical, where people are utilizing chemicals or exposed to metals or byproducts. Or again, like biological elements, such as in a healthcare setting where people may be exposed to infectious diseases. For individuals interested in studying occupational and environmental health, the University of Texas Health Science Center at the Texas Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, or TIOSH, in a unique partnership with the Division of Environmental Science at Stephen F. Austin State University, offers a Master's of Science in Environmental Science with a focus in occupational and environmental health. The Environmental Science Program at Stephen F. Austin State University is one of the first established in Texas. And we've done a really good job of developing our program over the years since the 1970s. And when we joined with the UT Health Science Center at Tyler in the 1990s, we really brought a whole new dimension to the program. The understanding of human health brought into the program added this whole human health aspect to it, which I think is really important. That's what gets people's attention about the environment is how the humans play in it. So when you put together our understanding of outdoor environmental science with the health center's understanding of human health, I think we have a program that's a real winner. For environmental science students and physicians alike wishing to pursue a degree in the field of occupational and environmental health, UT Health Science Center's accredited master's degree program is one of the best in the country, training health professionals in occupational and environmental health for over 15 years. Environmental science is a multidisciplinary field. There is no one person who has all the eggs in the one basket. So you start out with students who come from a variety of disciplines, from biology, chemistry, medicine, to water quality, and then you teach them some basics. What is toxicology? What is exposure? What is risk assessment? What are the laws that relate to environmental regulations that they need to know about. Then we build on that through a series of courses, optional courses in human health assessment, in industrial hygiene, courses on healthcare administration, epidemiology. There's a wide variety of options that are available too. As part of the program, students of both the land and water track and the occupational and environmental health track gain valuable real-world experience participating in interesting field studies and research projects. We give our students opportunities to be able to uh, have uh, hands-on experience using our instruments to be able to collect data and uh, assess uh, the environmental quality, uh, air quality, uh, water quality, the uh, soil uh, quality. There's a lot of opportunities to work on a lot of very topics. And that's because we have an interdisciplinary faculty that brings a lot of uh, variety to the program. And so you can pick out a topic that really interests you to work on. Through the course of the program, I got exposed to this GIS technology. And as a tool of exposure assessment, we call it spatial epidemiology, to look at environmental and public health issues. And so. I never even knew that this existed until I came to this program and now I'm actually continuing on and doing more graduate work in GIS and I'm going to be integrating that into environmental health and public health research. 
On top of innovative research opportunities, physicians pursuing their master's degree spend valuable time out in the field working in various industry, government, and healthcare settings. This rotational residency program is one of the true hallmarks of UT Health Science Center's Occupational Health and Safety Educational Program. As part of our program, we have physicians who are uh, trainees uh, in our environmental science program, which really has a strong core of public health training. They uh, get out of the classroom setting and they go to uh, where health of workers is actually affected. So they go to work sites to get a better understanding of what I was describing earlier, the interaction between the worker and the work. I think the program gave me the, the foundation, the knowledge set that I needed in order to offer to these companies the services that they require. And uh, the knowledge that you have of uh, federal regulations, of exposure, OSHA regulations, those sorts of things, DOT certification and those regulations that are, that are involved in that, all those things are uh, specific skills that you have to learn in order to be able to offer them effectively to companies and, and these companies need those skills. Most of the programs they don't have that relationship with the industries and most of the MPH program masters in public health don't offer that focus on industrial hygiene and safety uh, in, their, in their curriculum. I think that's very important. That's, that's very helpful when you go to practice uh, outside. Another added advantage of the Occupational Medicine Residency Program is that you actually earn while you learn, while also enjoying the many perks of being a UT family member. Not only are the salaries uh, in keeping with the highest in the nation, but we have incredible benefits such as health care opportunities for your family, dentals included. Then we have a fantastic relationship with our sister institution, UT Tyler, where you get to have a full gym membership at the UT Patriot Center includes not only weightlifting, uh, racquetball, basketball, but there's a fantastic swimming pool outside for the whole family. Well, the benefits that we got were fantastic. The residency program pays for all of our tuition and books, and on top of that, our living expenses are also supported. The benefits are very generous. Health insurance is provided. Dental insurance is provided. There's really no worries about taking care of myself or my family, so I can really focus on my studies. If you are considering a degree in environmental science or occupational and environmental health, then consider the many advantages this collaborative program between two great learning institutions has to offer. We offer the complete package. You can rest assured that you're going to get extremely high quality didactics, extremely high quality uh, academic training. There's a wonderful relationship between the faculty and the uh, students, the residents. Uh, we cater the needs of the program to meet the, uh, the needs of the student and help meet their expectations of what they want for their future careers. And this is all provided in a very collaborative, friendly, family-oriented community. We have uh, one of the largest medical communities in the area, there are about 650 physicians, wonderful industrial uh, opportunities, fantastic research opportunities. We collaborate with all the UT systems to ensure that uh, you have a training program that you can be extremely proud of. I think we have an exceptional faculty. Uh, we have physicians, we have hygienists, we have epidemiologists, we have toxicologists. They are dedicated, they are interested in the students, they are interested in the environment. We have small classes, which means there's a lot of individual student-teacher interaction. The collaborative nature of our program between the health center and our program here at SFA has been really great. And, and one of the reasons it works so well is we connect through TUI Interactive Video. And this allows us to exchange courses in a way where we can see the, the student and the student can see the faculty member. And it's much better than an internet course where your professor is just a blinking cursor. So, if you care for your environment, if you care about the health and safety of others, then this is the career path for you. A career where you can make an impact on the world around you, perhaps for generations to come. You know, I'm in it for a couple reasons. You know, first I, you know, of course, really enjoy the area of study. You know, I'm an active researcher in everything from, you know, uh, agricultural health and safety, environmental health issues, children's health. Um, but also, too, I mean, to um, study areas of importance that will um, provide information so that we can make better decisions 
when it comes to managing uh, industrial processes or if it comes to um, you know, protecting the environment. If you go to work for a company as an occupational physician, you're not going to be only responsible for the health of the employees at the company. You're going to be the health authority at that organization. And you're going to be asked questions about the safety of the effluent that's going into the creek, about the safety of the air pollutants that are going out into the community. I came from a background of family practice, family medicine, traditional clinical medicine, where you're treating one person at a time. And what I've learned from this preventive medicine program is we look more at preventing problems from happening and you look more at populations of people by preventing their exposure to a harmful agent. The field of occupational and environmental health is exciting and growing. Demand for these highly specialized professionals has been consistent and graduates of our nationally accredited program can expect starting salaries in the 60s, ranging into the six figures with just five to 10 years of experience and professional certifications. Our graduates have been extremely successful. They have uh, found opportunities uh, in academics, um, have pursued active careers in research, and many have found wonderful opportunities uh, out in the industry. Uh, we're very proud of our active military, uh, such as uh, flight surgeons and those involved in naval careers. Industry for many years has identified the fact that if they have on-site uh, occupational medicine clinicians or other healthcare providers, it gives them a leg up in, in uh, preventing injuries and educating their staff and uh, creating a, helping create a healthier workforce, all which help their bottom line. So it's a win-win for the clinician and, and the, uh, the uh, company too. Frankly, environmental science enrollment nationwide has decreased in the last decade. So this is a great time to go into environmental science because the job market continues to grow, but there aren't quite as many students in it as there was a decade ago. So it's a great opportunity. Environmental issues are everywhere in the news, health issues are everywhere in the news, um, and the two of course go hand in hand, environmental and health issues. And, and I can just imagine that anybody that would start in this environmental science program would be able to find a, a worthwhile career somewhere out there dealing with either occupational health or environmental health or environmental science or planning or any, any one of those related fields. For more information about this fascinating master's degree program at the University of Texas Health Science Center in Tyler, Texas, visit us on the web at www.tyosh.org or call us at 903-877-5900.